Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at creating a two-set Venn diagram based on numerical data. As you can see here, we have our data summarized on the side. The first item is saying that the number of people that were surveyed on pet ownership was 20. So that's the total number of people who were surveyed. Eight of those people own dogs. 10 of those people own cats. And two of those people own neither dogs nor cats. What we're going to do is check what do these numbers add up to? Meaning the number that own the dogs, the number that own the cats, and the number that own neither. So let's add those together. Midnight's going to help me out a little bit. So Midnight, can you let me know what that is? 20? I think that's right. All right, so that number actually matches the number that are in the universal set. What that means is we actually have disjoint sets. Disjoint sets are sets that have no elements in common. So what I'm going to do now is create the box in which I'm going to house my Venn diagram. Because I already know that these numbers total to what is expected for the universal set, I'm going to draw two circles that have no intersection. So again, what is that, what is that called again, Midnight? Do you remember? Yes, disjoint, disjoint, no overlap. So dogs, cats, and then S, which in this case is representing the total elements in this entire box. I'm just going to give myself a little reference here that reminds me that there should be 20 in total. This part is not actually part of the Venn diagram, but it's helping me to remember to check in the end that everything within my Venn diagram should total to 20. So now I'm ready to start filling in my Venn diagram with the data eight own dogs, so that will go in the dog circle. 10 own cats, so that will go in the cat circle. And two own neither dogs nor cats, that will go in the outer region. And as a final check, this will be helpful when you're looking at more complicated examples, is to confirm, do all of those numbers inside the Venn diagram equal what you're expecting for the total? So 8 plus 10 plus 2, does that work out? Yes, it is 20. So that works out. All right, so everyone, that was the example on creating a Venn diagram involving disjoint sets. Hope to see you again soon. Have a good day.